Chapter 6 Political Parties In the previous chapter, we have studied the meaning and features of democracy. In the present chapter, we are going to learn about the meaning of a political party, the types of political party and the major political parties in India. Political parties are important in the representative democracy. We have referred to the political parties in connection with the electoral process in ninth standard. Political party is a group of people. The members of the group share similar views on the particular topic and come close to each other as a group. The people who share common opinion on political matters come together and form a political party. The common political opinion is about the public issues. For example, all the members of the party agree on the price of crops. Political parties decide their strategy about various public questions. This is known as program or policy of the party. The people who agree or accept this policy come together as its members. Thus, citizens are connected with political parties. There are many political parties in a democracy. These parties declare their policies. Political parties compete in the elections to capture power. As there is a variety of parties, people get alternative choices for voting. The party or parties winning the majority of seats in the elections is known as ruling party that forms the government. On the other hand, the party which is not able to get the majority is known as opposition party. The ruling party gets the opportunity to implement its policies and programs. Recognition to the parties For getting recognition as national party, a party has to fulfill any one of the following criteria. A. At least 6% votes in at least 4 states and 4 members to the Lok Sabha or B. In the last election of Lok Sabha, at least 2% members from at least 3 states are elected to Lok Sabha, that is, of total strength of Lok Sabha or C. Recognition as state party from at least four states. Similarly, you can find out the criteria for state party from the website of Election Commission of India. Recognized political parties. Political parties in India are often grouped as recognized national party, recognized state party and registered unrecognized party. For being recognized state or national party, Election Commission of India decides the criteria from time to time. These mainly include conditions regarding minimum votes and minimum seats. If a party is thus recognized, the Election Commission reserves for that party one election symbol for the state concerned or for entire country. Therefore, recognition is important for the parties. If a party is not even registered with the Election Commission, then its candidates are officially treated as independent or non-party candidates even though they may campaign in the name of their party. Types of political parties 
Political parties in India are classified as according to their area of influence into two main types. First, national and second, state or regional parties. Both the groups include ruling and opposition parties. National political parties in India Indian National Congress Established in 1885, this party was dominant in Indian politics. It is also known as Congress Party. It was a ruling party at the center from 1947 to 1977. Again, it ruled the central government from 1980 to 1989. The party supports secularism and welfare of weaker sections and minorities. After 1991, this party did not get the majority, but it was able to rule the country with the support of other parties. The party was not in power at the center from 1996 to 2004. It acted as an opposition party. From 2004, Congress Party is ruling India as a leader of the coalition known as United Progressive Alliance, that is UPA, and is in power till today, that is 2013. Party System Political parties operate in a system. The party system is classified according to the number of parties existing and the capacity of the number of parties which can capture power at a time. In one party system, single party is in existence or only one party is effective. The party is effective means it is the only party which captures the power. In a two-party system, two parties are effective. Both the parties have the capacity to form the government. They get political power alternately. This is called as bi-party system. The multi-party system has many effective parties and they compete with each other for power. But no single party can form the government. When two or more than two parties come together, it is called as multi-party system. The government formed with this method is called as coalition or alliance government. The political parties are at the center of the political process. Coalition or Alliance Government If any one party is not able to get the majority of seats, which is essential to form the government, then two or more parties form the government. It is known as Coalition Government. The Coalition Government must secure the simple majority in Lok Sabha, that is, support of 50% of its members. Example, the coalition government in 1996 could not continue more than 13 days because it had no majority. The main aim of the political party is to capture and maintain power. Therefore, they contest the elections. In India, the senior members of the party select the candidates. The candidate gets the ticket, that is, candidature from the party. In India, the political parties are known by their symbols. Activity Find out how many people in India are literate and how many are illiterate. People feel affiliated with the political parties. They believe Political parties will solve their day-to-day -day problems. 
political parties are also dependent on the people for their support in the elections. Political parties try to satisfy the demands of the people. People, in turn, support the political parties. At the same time, political parties are also being criticized. The movements, media, non-governmental organizations and citizens criticize regional parties. Apart from above six parties, there are parties which are termed as state or regional parties. The term suggests the area of influence to a particular region or state. It is said that state-level parties limit themselves to the welfare of the state. But at the same time, some state parties have influence at national-level existence. Trinamool Congress Party, which is a ruling party in West Bengal, that is, in 2012, has the national-level organization. Since the decade 1990, no single national party in India is able to secure majority in Lok Sabha. Therefore, it is necessary to take the support of state or regional level parties to form the government. Naturally, from 1996 onwards, almost all the state level parties were the partners in the central government. The importance of regional parties has increased in Indian politics. See the Election Commission website for details. At present, that is, in 2012, in Maharashtra State, Shiv Sena and Maharashtra Navnirman Sena are the two recognized regional parties. Let's get more information about these two state-level parties. Apart from the above parties in Maharashtra, there are various other parties which have limited influence in the state. Peasants and Workers' Party, Samajwadi Party, Bahujan Vikas Aghari, Jan Surajya Shakti, Communist Party of India, that is, the Marxist, Loka Sangram Party, Rashtriya Samaj Party, Bahujan Mahasangha won limited number of seats in the state assembly elections. Janta Dal and Republican Party also won some of the seats in the previous elections in Maharashtra. Bharatiya Janta Party Established in 1980, the aim of the party is to build strong and prosperous modern India and preserving ancient Indian traditions and culture. The party emphasizes cultural nationalism or Hindutva as the important factor in Indian politics. To cancel the Article 370, which gives special status to Jammu and Kashmir region in India, uniform civil code and ban on religious conversions are major demands of the party. From the decade of 1990, the influence of the party started increasing. It came to power at the center in 1998 as the leader of National Democratic Alliance and remained in power till 2004. Uniform Civil Code Today, there are no same laws related to marriage, divorce, adoption, etc. for all religions in India. There should be common laws, that is, Uniform Civil Code related to marriage, divorce, adoption, etc., for all religions, 
is one demand of BJP. Nationalist Congress Party Under the leadership of Sharad Pawar in 1999, the Nationalist Congress Party was formed with those members who separated from the Indian National Congress. Nationalist Congress Party supports democracy, equality, social justice, Gandhian principles and federalism. It also supports the empowerment of weaker sections of the society. The party insists on the rule that the high offices of the country should be given to the natural born citizens of India. The party supported the UPA government in 2004 and in 2009. It has a major support base and ruling partner in Maharashtra state government. Meghalaya, Manipur, Nagaland and Assam are the states where the party has its influence. Activity Find out how many regional political parties exist in India after 2009. Which parties formed coalitions government in Uttar Pradesh? Bahujan Samaj Party The party was formed under the leadership of Kanshi Ram in 1984. The aim of the party is to secure power for the Bahujan Samaj. Bahujan Samaj includes Dalits, Adivasis, other backward classes and religious minorities. The party aims at welfare of the Dalits and the oppressed classes in India. The party has main base in Uttar Pradesh. It has also won the seats in Madhya Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Bihar, Delhi, Chhattisgarh, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana and Punjab. The party formed government in Uttar Pradesh by taking support from various parties. In 2007, Bahujan Samaj Party emerged as the single largest party by winning 200 seats out of 403 seats in the state elections of Uttar Pradesh. At present, that is 2012. The party has 80 seats in Uttar Pradesh Assembly. Activity Name the coalition government at centre in 2009 and list out the political parties involved in that government. Name the coalition government in Maharashtra and list out the parties involved in that government. Support from outside Sometimes there is support from outside, which means the party or parties will not participate in the government, but they support the ruling party for the majority. They don't take direct part in the government. That is why it is said, support from outside. Communist Party of India Established in 1925, the party wants to promote the interests of workers, farmers and the poor. The ideology of the party is Marxism and it believes in secularism and democracy. In 1964, the party was divided and a new party known as Communist Party of India, the Marxist, that is, the Marxist, was created. Kerala, West Bengal, Tripura, Manipur, Punjab, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu are the states where the party has influence. In 2004, the party supported from outside to Congress led UPA government 
at the center. It withdrew the support in 2008. Marxism Marxism is known as the thought given by Karl Marx with the contribution of other Marxian thinkers. The aim of Marxism is to end exploitation and inequality in the society and establish equality. According to Marxism, there are two classes in the society. First, haves, which means those who own the means of production. And second, have-nots, which means those who do not own the means of production. The haves exploit the have-nots. According to Karl Marx, the exploited class should initiate revolution, capture power, and then establish the classless society based on equality. As the working class is the most exploited class, workers should start the revolution. Lenin, Mao Zedong, etc. contributed to Marxism. Communist Party of India The Marxist Established in 1964, it supports secularism, socialism and democracy. It strongly opposes communalism and imperialism. The party is influential among the industrial workers, poor, agricultural workers and farmers. The party criticizes the new economic policy which results into introduction of foreign investment in India. The party was in power in West Bengal and Kerala with the support of other parties. The party has been ruling the state of West Bengal for 34 years from 1977 to 2011. The party supported UPA government from outside in 2004 at the center. Shiv Sena Established in 1966 in Mumbai under the leadership of Barasaheb Thakre, the party emerged out of the movement based on the ideology that Maharashtra is for Marathi people. Gradually, the party broadened its base by adding to its ideology Hindu nationalism. Shiv Sena entered into an alliance with Bharatiya Janata Party in 1989 on the issue of Hindu nationalism. This alliance formed the government in Maharashtra in 1995. During 1996 to 2004, Shiv Sena also joined BJP led central government. Maharashtra Navnirman Sena Established in 2006 in Mumbai under the leadership of Raj Thakre. It was a breakaway group from Shiv Sena. The party is committed to raising the state of Maharashtra its people and the Marathi language. Maharashtra Navnirman Sena, which is also called MNS, wants to bring the people of Maharashtra together, irrespective of caste, religion, sect or class, under its flag for the development of Maharashtra. MNS won 13 seats in Maharashtra in 2009 assembly elections. Activities Find out how many state or regional level parties are present in India after 2009 elections. Find out the parties which formed various coalition governments in Uttar Pradesh. Social Justice 
the aim of social justice is to end economic, social and political inequalities. The dignity of the individual is also the aim of social justice. Social justice is based on equality of opportunity. Many parties in the world have accepted social justice as their aim. Social justice believes that there should not be race or gender base. Functions of political parties The rise of political parties is related to the representative democracy. In democracy, the role of a political party is important in the election of the representative. Political parties are a means to capture power. Every political party contains leaders, activists and the supporters of the party. Political parties perform various functions. They are First, participation in policy formulation. Political parties formulate different policies and programs. Parties canvass their policies. The winning party means the party which gets majority captures the power. Political party can implement its policies once it comes to the power. Second, to form and to run the government, that is, the ruling party. Political parties play an important role in the formation of the government. They are also important to run the government. The party which comes to power tries to satisfy the demands of the people and, in turn, tries to get the support of the maximum number of people. The demands are converted into programs. The ruling party or parties, with the help of the majority, make laws and implement them. There is a competition among the political parties to fulfill the demands made by the people. There is always a fear of defeat in the next elections if the party is not able to satisfy the demands of the people. Political parties strengthen the democratic system. Third, to participate in lawmaking. The role of political parties in making laws is very important. The minister from ruling party or any member of the parliament can present the draft of the law, but the bill put forth by the ruling party gets converted into law with the help of majority. The draft of the bill gets discussed in the parliament. The criticism of the opposition is decisive in protecting the interests of the citizens. The ruling party acts in a balanced manner while passing the bills. Fourth, to create awareness or to educate people. Parties provide access to government transactions, meetings, gatherings, sessions and pamphlets of the political parties provide political knowledge to the people. Both the ruling as well as the opposition parties canvasses their positions on the various issues and this makes citizens aware of their votes. People feel close to parties and trust them for solving their day-to-day -day problems. The ordinary citizens and groups are connected to the democracy. Parties create awareness among the citizens and the charged citizens participate in the parties and political process. The role of political parties in increasing the democratic participation is very important. 
the campaigning at the time of election also helps to educate people on various issues. Fifth, to perform the role of opposition party. The parties which do not get majority in the elections play an important role of opposition parties. The opposition parties criticize the policies of the government. They may demand the cancellation of unjust policies if they are against the interest of the people. Parties launch movements and agitations on the policies of the government which are against the interest of the people. Example, price hike in food and vegetables, cooking gas or petrol, against the irregular water supply. Opposition parties act as a watchdog of democracy. Political parties thus play an important role in creating the responsible government. Sixth, to work as a link between government and the people. The citizens are linked to the government machinery through the political party. Parties act as a bridge between government and the people. Parties play a decisive role to convey people's demand to the government. At the same time, the government decisions or policies are conveyed to the people. The reactions of the people or the feedback on government policies are taken by the parties. People get the feeling that we can also participate in the government. Political parties are recognized as link between government and the people. The following graph shows the percentage of people in India who feel close to the political parties. Gandhian Principles It is a set of principles for the individual as well as government. Non-violence, peace, truth and development of villages and weaker sections of the society are a part of Gandhian principles. The principle of social justice is related to the idea which supports development of each and every section of the society. Imperialism The powerful countries in the world crossed the borders of their own country and expanded their rule. With the help of military power, they wished to conquer the world. The physical expansion is known as Imperialism. After the Industrial Revolution, the aim of getting economic profit was the aim of imperialism. It resulted into economic imperialism. The imperialist countries get the economic benefits and political power. British in India and French. Portuguese people in some parts are the examples of imperialism. Federalism It is a type or principle of government which believes in equal distribution of power between central government and state governments. In short, state governments are as powerful as the central government. United States of America is the example of federalism. There are 50 state governments and a central government. Communalism There are many people of different communities or religion in the country. Communalism is related to the dominance of one community or religion over the others. Due to communalism, two communities or religions cannot live together. 
it can divide the society as well as the country.